Today we're in the city coined as the capital of pizza, which not only has arguably the best and largest variety, but also most definitely the cheapest pizza with prices starting at just $1.68. You know, when you think about pizza, you think about people carrying boxes. However, in Napoli, they take it to a whole other level with the wallet pizza. This line is crazy. People want their pizza. I'm trying to like wiggle my way in here. <laughs> uh, pizza forno. Pizza forno? Uh, oh my god. Normally I would say we should find a place to sit down, but this pizza was legit made to eat while walking. So this pizza is simply named Pizza Forno, which means pizza in the oven. However, the other name is coined to be either wallet pizza or portfolio pizza because of the specific look of the different layers it's folded into. It's almost like if one of my childhood dreams had come true, like folding a pizza in half. Oh man. Oh. I almost bumped into somebody because we're so good. I gotta find a place to sit. This pizza is dangerous to move with. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is a this is a much better safe spot to eat this pizza. Literally the first bite, I almost like ran into somebody because I had stopped there. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. But first of all, let me just put something into perspective for you guys. In New York City, it costs about like four dollars and fifty cents for a cup of coffee this pizza right here costs like 160 making it a deal that i just cannot comprehend not only is it an amazing deal but it also is a unique pizza that sauce on there is not just some like canned crap of sauce this you can tell is a family recipe when sauce the moon hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie that's amore when the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine that's amore all right, now we started off with a pizza that was kind of something, I guess like an everyday basis of a food. However, now we're gonna eat something that's truly something that you can't, I mean, you could, I guess, eat on a daily basis, but it's just, uh, it's downright sinful. ricotta. Provola, salame, pomodoro e pepe. Ok, uh, salame. Salame, completa. Sì. Provola, pomodoro, ricotta e salame. Sì. Grazie. Holy crap. Ok, um... <laughs> words cannot describe how I'm feeling when I'm holding this right now. Like, I knew what I ordered, but this thing, it just feels so wrong but so right. I'll describe what's inside of it after taking a bite of it because I, I can't I, I can't talk and describe this at the same time and eat it and I, I, need, I need to bite into this. Oh my, that is freaking insane. Okay, let me just describe what is on the inside for you guys here. So the inside is pretty much anything good in a pizza. We have some tomatoes in there, we have some mozzarella, we have some ricotta, and of course the bread in which is sinfully fried. Oh my gosh, it's leaking. Oh no, it's leaking, it's leaking, it's leaking. Ah! How's it going? It's, it's breaking apart here, yeah. Okay, I have to save this before it's... Oh jeez, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Do, do you want pizza? No. No? <laughs> I am in deep stress. Just look at that sticking out of there. Literally blown. Mine absolutely blown. And this thing, 350. <laughs> Okay, now it's kind of like that weird time before dinner, and it's kind of a snack hour, but I mean, I've had two pizzas already, so... <laughs> it's just like a feast of a day. But so what I'm thinking is we have a plan for dinner. We're gonna go to like the most popular, most famous, most kind of like the best place supposedly in the world for pizza. So for right now, we're actually gonna go to a place that for me, it's not necessarily my favorite type of pizza, but it's my favorite type of place for pizza. Maybe some people will say it's not even pizza, but it's my favorite type of place in general. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, 
they literally have everything here. Mini pizzas, calzones, fried cakes. Look at all these sweets here. Oh my gosh, and they have like tiny little pies too. Do we? Uh, Ellen here is so good. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, thank you. Today is wow. just the best day ever. Okay, for the third item, we have gone with the focaccia. Now, in a pizza, obviously the three things that matter are the sauce, the cheese, and of course the bread. Now, everybody has their own preference in what matters the most. However, for me, it's most definitely the bread. And in a bakery, obviously, you find the best bread. Some of the best pizzas I've ever found that are completely off the grid. Places that people have really never heard of have been in bakeries simply just because they're bread. I mean, I feel as though I'm literally tasting a form of heaven. If you look at the top layer there, it's almost just like gooey sensation of a dough. And that's made because the oil is just seeping into that entire bread there. Now, although this is one of the best focaccias I've ever had and absolutely delicious, like boundlessly delicious, we have something very, very, very important to talk about of a pizza place that supposedly they claim to be the best pizza in the world. And honestly, just judging by their reviews, judging by their history, judging by that they've been open since 1870, this, this is an incredibly special moment for me. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, just take a look at this line of people out here right now. My dream is going to uh, take a little while to be accomplished. Is that out of the line? Get the ticket. Okay, thank you. What do you get? What do you get? 86! No, 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 Thank you. I got a seat. How this happened? Okay, this is officially the coolest place I have ever been to. Pizzeria or restaurant. Like, this is the coolest spot. Everybody's screaming. There's a massive oven in back of people just pumping pizzas in and out. Pizzas are just coming over my head like this. Ciao, Margarita. Uh, Margarita. Yes. Grazie. Ciao. <laughs> and everybody's just so nice. Oh my gosh. That is the most epic pizza I've ever seen. How is this $4 pizza? So this is just your typical margarita pizza. You have the mozzarella, you have the sauce, you have the olive oil, and of course a few basil leaves on top. And of course in Italy, they just serve you the pizza without it cut, so you have to cut it for yourself. And since everybody's doing it, I'm gonna first try it the Italian way. You number! Oh my gosh. It literally just tasted like I had the best pasta sauce I've ever had on that pizza. Combined with delicious fresh cheese and a crust. It's unreal. But I'm not gonna lie, it just feels weird not using my hands. <laughs> it's funny because in New York, you have to like fold a pizza. Here, you literally have to like fold it in half. Guys back there, they are artists. So when he flips that dough, he's Pizza Boy USA. Pasta pizza, roll the pizza. Pasta pizza, roll the pizza. Pasta roll the pasta. I'm going for it. This might be a terrible idea. Pizza Boy USA. Sometimes eat things that 
change your entire perspective on the food in general. And with that pizza right there, for the quality, the ingredients, the freshness, the taste, the heart that was in it, and the freaking price, I feel like I've just eaten my first pizza of all time. Guys, we've officially reached one million. And honestly, the only thing I can think of in this moment is just how grateful I am to you. You guys made my dream come true, and now I wanna do the same for you. So I'm running a giveaway for making one of your guys' dreams come true. All you have to do is be sure to be subscribed to the channel with post notifications on, follow me on Instagram, and also comment your dream on this picture. Also, bonus points for those that watch this video, or if you've seen that one, all the best ones here. Really from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys on Friday.